Uh, my name's Ben Vince and it's B-E-N-V-I-N-C-E. I always really enjoy sort of playing like Lego, making things sort of like the Meccano, so and like taking things apart, putting them together, seeing how they work. Like if something got broken, I used to sort of <laughs> make sure I could try and take it apart and then sort of try and put it back together and work out how it went together. So I, I think that's probably how I got towards sort of science and engineering is just like purely because I, I liked sort of doing things with my hands, taking things apart and making them and just was fascinated sort of how they worked. Um, th things sort of like joysticks for the computer, like they stop working because I'm sort of hitting the buttons too hard or something and sort of taking it apart, wondering why it's not working, sort of getting shouted out by mum and dad because I'm taking the stuff apart, but sort of trying to work out how the, sort of, all the little buttons interact and sort of screwing it back together and seeing if it worked or not. Um, I can always remember when I was a lot younger, I, I was determined to become a vet, but I, I don't think I want to do that now. That's, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, uh, I'm not afraid of gore, or blood and guts and things like that, but I just, I wouldn't want to, that's just not something I, I like to do anymore. Um, I'm not sure that I could sort of operate on someone's dog and then sort of slip, oh, I've cut, cut some sort of blood vessel and have to tell the owner, oh, I've, I've managed to kill your dog. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to do that. I'm a mechanical engineer in my third, third year. Um, uh, I've got so my individual project, which is to do with tensile testing of sheet knee ligaments. Um, apart from that, I'm sort of... Well, you, you get given sort of standard modules, which you have to take. I'm taking... And then you sort of get your choice ones as well. So I'm trying to... I'm doing a couple to do with biomechanics because I sort of thought that'd be quite an interesting route to take. And my projects involve that sort of thing. So... Um, also, I've done some work experience back home sort of during the summer um, with a company called DML. Uh, so that's... I kind of... Whilst, whilst I've sort of done my degree, I've got good experience at the same time. I sort of... I'm trying to not just sort of have the knowledge, but also have the experience as I'm going through university. The best, probably the best part about the individual project is it's, you're finding out something new. Like if, it's, for me, like this is something I've never been involved with, so I've had to go out and research it. This has never been done at this university before, so that's another like, bonus for me because, as Donald, or I think Mark said it to me, I, I'm the pioneer for this sort of project. Um, and it's just, it's very interesting because I've had to go out and find out myself like how to do these tests w with a bit of help. Um, but just sort of, it's sort of, rather than sort of have a project in something that I've done a lot in before, it's very interesting to be working on something that I've just never, ever, not known anything ever about. Um, and, I, and I also enjoy sort of managing my own time. Like, you've got given an individual project, you've got given all this time to do it in, and it's basically like, you get on with it now. Like, if you don't do any work, you won't get a good mark. It's worth a lot of your, your year. It's worth 25% of this year. Um, so it's down to me to get on with it to work. And I, I think that's a good thing as well. It, motivate, it makes you have to motivate yourself. Um, and, I, and I guess sort of some of the best parts are some of the worst parts. Having to like go and research this can be quite a pain sort of staking thing to be doing because as I don't know anything about it, I don't, like, it's a real struggle to try and find like, information I've sort of trawled through the internet trying to find loads and loads of information on sort of knee ligaments and it's, they're, they're very, all these researchers have done before at sort of different universities and what have you, they don't want to give you their information, they're, they're not very forthcoming, so it's, it's been a bit of a struggle but it's also been sort of good, so it's like you get sort of the good and the bad together and, and it's the same with having to make myself work, it's just like, it's kind of, it's difficult to like, if you think, oh I'll, I'll just put my feet up and do nothing for half an hour or something, or Actually, I've got to go and work. Like motivating yourself is always a very difficult thing as well. So it, they kind of they both tie together a lot. In twelve months, I like to have uh, created this testing rig for for my individual project, which is testing tensile testing sheet knee ligaments. So I've got a, there's a drop tower, and we're we're sort of dropping a big weight down, and then we we want to pull this sheet knee apart. So I'm having to design a rig to to change this sort of weight dropping down into a pulling apart test. Um, so I've hoped to have made this rig and then hopefully mounted a few of these sheep knees in there and sort of pulled them apart and got the readings from them. So I want to find out 
what the ultimate tensile strength of the, the ligament is and also the maximum extension. So I hope to have sort of a, done sort of maybe two or three of those tests, perhaps more, hopefully, um, as many of those tests as I can get done but, uh, and to sort of find out the, the strength of these knees. And I feel, I've, feel then that my project has gone well and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I think they all realise there is sort of a lot of work to be an engineer. Like they realise, like sort of last two years, they've known that I've had a lot of lectures. Sort of last two years, I've had sort of sixteen hours a week, sort of lectures, just lecture time, plus then additional work to be doing when I'm at home. This year's not so bad. I've sort of had about eight hours lecture time. But then I've had a lot of individual projects to be getting on with, which is sort of meant to be doing fifteen hours a week on group project we had this semester. So they, they, they do realise that I have a lot of work to be doing. Um, and like, sort of you get the old joke in between mates, oh, like, engineering's really easy. Like, <laughs> but, but I think they, they, deep down, they do understand like, it is a lot of work involved and it is sort of quite difficult work. Um, people perceive scientists and engineers to be sort of these guys in white coats um, with, with their safety specs on and their, hard, their, their boots. <laughs> sort of working away in a lab, sort of either with chemicals or or on like a milling machine, like like I was earlier. Um, but there's a lot more to engineering than that. There's sort of all the design work on the computers. There's all the calculations, uh, and like sort of making these detailed drawings on sort of say we use Pro Engineer, making the detailed drawings on there. It's it's very sort of time staking, and they people don't realise that. There's a lot more to like being an engineer. You've got to sort of design things and think about things. It's not just sort of stand there in a white coat. A lot of people, I, I used to the I, I wear a white coat hardly ever. Sort of when you're sort of going into the labs, that's the only time you ever get to wear them. So, well, I, I thoroughly enjoy playing cricket. That's one of my real, real pleasures. Um, so, I, all summer I just play Saturday and Sunday, two times a week. Um, sometimes play during the week as well. Uh, so my weekend, so I worked in the week, weekends playing cricket and then back at work. Um, I also really enjoy playing golf. I managed to get my handicap down to 20 now, <laughs> which is not that good, but it's a bit more respectable than it was. Uh, and it's blown my dad's as well, so that's always, uh, that's always a bonus. <laughs> so I take him out there and beat him every sort of Sunday morning or whatever. Um, so I try and member of a golf club at home, so we sort of go out sort of two or three times a week playing, playing golf, some, some evenings and some sort of Saturday or Sunday mornings. Um, during the winter I play hockey. I try and play a bit of golf during the winter as well, but it's quite a wet, I, I'm a bit of a fair weather golfer, I'll admit it. don't really like playing in the rain, so don't go out as much in the winter. Uh, and don't really have time for golf when I'm up here, because I'm not a member of sort of a club or anything. Um, but I do play hockey when I'm up here and I sort of join a local cricket club as well.